we are out here. <clears throat> so it's been a minute. Haven't been doing anything to Grom except writing it. But uh, sold the LS hard body and uh, got a uh, C5 Corvette. So this is kind of going to be an introduction video. Um, just got my uh, things in. These are supposed to come in May. Um, they're just the uh, blackout kit for the tail lights, uh, four tails center third brake light thing and then the reverse lights um i was gonna order the side markers i think they're like 50 bucks for the nice like led strip uh neon one or not neon it's like a led strip but i'm cheap so just use nightshades a little spray and uh just did those so i'm gonna do it for now if i don't like it eventually i can upgrade them to the other ones but uh i think eventually I know that's kind of a weird thing to introduce. If you follow me on Instagram, you already knew about this, but uh, 97 C5 Vet, uh, head cam package, full bolt-ons, tuned, and all that good stuff on CCW Classics, which I love these wheels. I wanted to get them for the Supra, but I wanted the D110s, but uh, we're just doing an install video, I guess, if you want to call it that. Pretty much just like an update with getting the car. Um, did the little shades on... Uh, I, I was going to do it on the taillights and just spray them myself with the nightshades can. I also got, so it has a full Magnaflow exhaust, which is super nice, looks clean, like the tips, that's what she said, but um, it's just not loud enough, so I just got a little straight pipe section for now, if I like it, uh, I might do something with that size tips, with chrome, right now they have the little carbon fiber covers, but, so we're putting these on, got these on think vet shop or amazon or something like that or not from what is it yeah vet shop but um i got the molded ones just because they make a flat one that they bolts into here bolts into there so you take the stock screws out and then you bolt them on but it's flat instead of the original like kind of concave look and so i just got the molded ones and they cover up the original hardware so that's why i do just tinted those now and if I ever like them I can just use the adhesive tape I think it's 3 in that's held on by which is kind of surprising at least the third one and the reverse are but I think it's a clear adhesive but pretty much you could just heat up and then redo it if I did want to change out the uh, stock uh, to the um, rear side markers if I want to swap it out to that LED upgrade which eventually I will if I get the halo the tinted halos um they look pretty they look nice it makes it more modern but if i do that i will do the led strips um i do need to get uh fronts done but six speed manual super clean c has wear but if you sit in it it's gonna be like that i got it from the second owner but uh, i'm loving this thing easily the best handling car i've ever driven so Super clean, but just got these and I was bored before work, so I figured I'd throw them on. But uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. It's an update, but I don't need to show you how to stick things on. But uh, just wanted to give an update on the uh, purchase I made because I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, so it looks like I think there's a whole sealed container, but um, let me see. Alrighty. So I thought these actually only came with one alcohol swab, so I used just glass cleaner on these real quick. There's freaking pollen all over here. Uh, probably not the best to do it, but you know how we guys do it out here. Anyway, these are the covers for the reverse lights. I was debating on it because I kind of like the clean look, but I've seen a couple online. I also ordered the uh, black lettering for this, pretty much just like inserts that go on the uh, lettering. I feel like it would make it look a little bit better, kind of pop out, but just a bunch of little shit before I spend more money than I should and boost it and all that, but I need to get the super done anyway, so I'm going to do those reverse lights. Third brake light now. I'm going to wait for that to dry. Uh, I should probably move that over in the sun more, but um, I have to do that before I put these on because obviously it covers the hardware. So, make sure those are dry. I might wait a whole day just to do them, but for now I can do the third and the reverse. So, I'm going to just do that real quick and uh, go from there. So, that angle there. Should probably close the trunk to make it nice and clean, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, so, 
got those on. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like how it kind of completes like a square blacked out look, but I probably, if I did it again, would do vinyl just for those, just because they are kind of thick for acrylic, but they're not bad, so I'm going to do third next, and that'll be it, and then I'll put those, I think I'm going to let those dry overnight just so they don't get on this side of it, but that is next for the third those are on uh, so it is clear tape I thought it was like gray 3m which would be not the smartest so it seems like they know what they're doing but um yeah I like it it's not bad um I will admit I'd rather have just done vinyl probably a little bit cheaper just do like smoked uh, overlays but it is what it is I already paid for it so I'm gonna be happy with it but um honestly it's not bad for what it is. I think it makes it look pretty nice clean look. The original plastic lenses were a little uh, a little worn, faded, if you will. These aren't, but third definitely was. So, But I like it. It's not too bad. Um, I'm about to get it ceramic coated and or paint correct and ceramic coated. But um, probably do wrap on the little diffuser area. Uh, where you can see that body line for those vents I might just do a black wrap to kind of break it apart I guess a lot of C5 people do that eventually I'll probably get a diffuser for it like a carbon one I want to do a carbon wing for the trunk and maybe front lip they're super low up front so I may just do a fiberglass one and see how that is and then fiber, uh, carbon fiber after these I believe are done but those are just going to go on the side markers here May do side skirts, but for the most part, I'm gonna keep it pretty stock body ish, I think. But I don't know, I've had it for about a week now, I've been loving it. Um, definitely going on E85 because it is expensive to fill up, but uh, yeah, so that's installing those acrylic ones. I'll do those, the taillights, uh, at a later time once I put the middle ones back in, or I might just try and do it right now if those are dry to the touch and go from there so but this is the c5 i'll do a better video walk around i'm about to go to work so kind of tired but um i will do that eventually so this is it